Did I write this book? Have, have we talked about how, like, writing a children's book would be the fucking most easy money you could ever make? Those of you guys, like, wondering, oh, what the, like, uh, I have, like, some artistic talent. Like, what, what should I do? For, make a fucking children's book. Your whole story can be, like, 14 words. And just draw, like, cute, fun pictures. I'll prove it to you guys. You want to write a children's book? Get it illustrated and publish it and make, like, 15 million dollars? I will tomorrow. Just to prove it to, to chat here. Today. You want to do it today? You want me to really, like, put the fucking pedal on here and, like, write a children's book today on stream when we're done with this? Fine. And I'm gonna- I'll storyboard it out. And then I'm gonna get it illustrated. And I'm gonna sell it. And I'm just gonna, like, put it- I'm gonna get it published. This would be my real, actual book. He's so spiteful. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just... All right, I gotta think of a good fucking story. Let's get some inspiration. How about a doll that comes to life to, like, kill you? And, like, it's some fucking, like, kid with a bat. And the whole thing is a doll, like, peeking around corners and finding him. And finally, like, the kid, kid does a full wind-up and hits the doll in the fucking mouth with the baseball bat. And, like, the ending frame is, like, the whole family, like, having dinner, and they're all happy. Oh, no, it's supposed to be a children's book. Children's book. So, uh, Dr. Teddy, the... Teddy, Teddy's turmoil. And it's like, oh, no, he didn't take a bath today. I'm gonna make a million dollars tomorrow. Today. Jesus, Grandpa, what did you read me this thing for? Here comes a coffee. But imagine if I got, like, fucking sued. Imagine I wrote a book and I didn't realize because, like, everybody's written a story about some random stuffy, fluffy character that, like, has trouble eating vegetables and, like, I get sued and I, I go to court and I lose everything. That would be... F that would probably be fucking hilarious. That's, like, the only way I would ever accept, like, literally, like, like my career, like, my stream, YouTube, whatever. It was all taken from me because I, like, plagiarized a children's book. Everything on stream here... For the remainder of the stream here, I am copyright trademarking the next three hours of the stream. All characters, all original characters, and all text written and created by me, German985 on the channel German985, will henceforth be under my property. I'm going to throw out some characters' names, I'm going to throw out some characters like animals and uh, otherworldly the special effect type creatures, and you tell me if they've been made into a book before, like a creature book. Okay, ready? Uh, scenario one. Uh, scary monster that's in the closet, that's in, that's hiding under the bed or in the closet, right? A uh, person is scared, but the book is about how the monster just wants a snack late at night from the fridge. Uh, like, Munchie the monster just wants a snack. Has it been done? Been done. There's another, another this, that's the route we can go down. Well, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll vote on it. So we'll put it up on the screen here. So we got small animal doing basic human children's task. Uh, I really like the idea of something that is scary. Like here's another thing, right? Something that is scary, but is shown over the course of like the 15 pages to not be scary. We're talking dentist. We're talking doctor. We're talking uh, haircut. Go to the haircut. Has there been a haircut book? All right, learning material, small animal doing basic. Okay, how about grow growing up? Right? There's things you need to know, like how to fucking write a check. The child learns, right? Think growing up. Writing a check. Doing laundry. Um... Bathroom. Like, going to the bathroom. There's a shitload of those books. How to deal cards. The kids aren't gonna- uh, dealers. How to play Fortnite. Don't make me write that. Or, you know, there also is just, like, for fun. Like the cat in the hat. The cat in the hat didn't have a fucking message. A cat shows up and breaks a bunch of shit in their house. And, like, does a bunch of drugs. Someone said mix them all together. So we got a learning material, a math book about a small animal doing a basic task. Something that's scary, but it's not. Learning a lesson at the end and growing a little and finding a friend along the way. I'll be a millionaire in a few years. So we've got tasks 
that a, a basic human task that an animal is going to do. I got one for you right now. Lawn care. Shopping. Like whether that's, uh, I'll, I'll make it clear. Grocery or otherwise. Okay. What else? Computer. Computers. Ooh. We got a whole new generation of kids that are going to be on computers. And iPads. Computers and tablets. Like a rat with a computer. Like a, or a mouse with... Get the fuck out of here. Manners. Basic. Very basic human thing. Yeah, they always have like, Oh, it's a fucking monster that doesn't know manners. A monster that doesn't understand manners and needs to be taught manners by the family. Over here, we are going to put cat people or things, right? Animals or maybe not animals. We got rats. A, a, a chipmunk. We got a duck. Crabs. Lobsters. Mo uh, mollusks. No, that's way too weird. No, kid doesn't know what a fucking mollusk is. Um, armadillo. <laughs> Lobster armadillo? A germ. Ooh, I l actually, you know what? That's kind of funny. Like a, a germ that needs to learn how to eat healthy. A germ that needs to learn how to cook. A germ that needs to learn hygiene? What? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? That's so weird. Not good enough. It's not good enough. Germ. A, a stove. <laughs> Where are, like, we need like a setting. That's important. Setting. Uh, just throw them out here. I'll take, I'll take a few of them. You, the, in, no, but the United States is way too vague. Ki like the kitchen or uh, like a home, right? A, a house, okay. It, a college, like a, in college. Uh, at the playground, right? Like uh, we're outside, in the garden, at. Uh, in, in, uh, uh, in uh, space, in, uh, in the, on the moon. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a game called... Each one of these is getting a number. And they're going to be thrown into a random number generator and we're going to pull them up. So, for instance, category one will be numbered, category two, category three, and we're going to just pull them fucking out randomly. <laughs> I'm just realizing, it's very possible we're going to get, like, a seagull... <laughs> At the zoo, out on the farm. <laughs> or like a crab on a cloud, <laughs> eating healthy. Oh, this is gonna get fucking weird, I love it. You mislabeled the activities. A aliens at school <laughs> otherwise. 1 to 21, here we go. Bingo. 19, we got a snake. A snake. On a cloud. Snake on a cloud. Otherwise. <laughs> We're gonna stick on a cloud, otherwise. <laughs> How do you make that a book? <laughs> uh, a seagull. A seagull. At the beach. Seagull at the beach. Oh ho 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 ho! Seagull at the beach. Learning manners. Cause holy fuck man, seagulls. Perfect. Seagulls are assholes. The seagull book already exists. No, it doesn't.
if that fucking book exists, I'm gonna have a meltdown. Greedy, naughty seagull at the beach. James is a little bear who happens to save a seagull that has some behavioral problems. One day, James goes fishing with the seagull. James is disappointed with the bird's display of greed when she eats nearly all of the catches. James replaces the fish by spending his pocket money to buy fish for the at the this is at the beach seagull being greedy at the beach, not knowing manners. Delete it. Nine. Lobsters. Lobsters. Pretty good start. Lobsters in a restaurant. It's writing itself. Doing homework. Lobsters in a restaurant doing homework. And at the end of the book, they get, like, dropped into the boiling water. Uh. No, that's, I don't know, I don't want to write that one. S uh, seagull again. A seagull, <laughs> a seagull underwater. <laughs> eating healthy, an underwater seagull eating healthy, an aardvark. At school, aardvark at school. Thank God. <laughs> doing homework. <laughs> this is a copywritten character already. We have to trash this one. Wait, that's an it's an art bar kid school doing homework. There was a PBS show that ran for like forty years about that exact topic. Aliens. No matter what they are, I'm gonna keep them. Even if they're copywritten, like if, if, even if it's Mickey Mouse learns to read, I'm gonna keep it. So we get aliens. In a restaurant. Aliens in a restaurant. What are they doing there? Cleaning. Flirt teaching al cl aliens cleaning a restaurant. They don't know anything about like humans. And they can like learn. Watching them eat. <laughs> Humans. Humans. <laughs> Eating humans. <laughs> That's Twilight Zone level. Ah. <sighs> What's the next one? Okay, we've got, uh, <laughs> Alien! <laughs> Why? Oh, I don't like this. <sighs> what are they doing? <laughs> They're on a mountain, observing humans. Aliens on a mountain. <laughs> Cleaning. Ah, elephants. Elephants. Uh, in space. Elephants in space. 
We got this is great so far. Elephants in space. What are they doing though? Something cool. Come on. Give us a good one. Oh. <laughs> that means they're dead. No, fuck it. Ready? Lightning round. Bang, 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 bang. What are you gonna get? What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Something, something, something. Got, something got nine. Lobsters. Lobsters. I wonder where they're gonna be. Lobsters are on a mountain. Hmm. Lobsters on a mountain. <laughs> there they go. Where are they? What's, what's the plan here? They're shopping. Ugh. Turtle. In a restaurant. There's so many in a restaurant. Shopping in a restaurant. For what? This is the final one. Absolutely no questions asked. Last one. A seagull. On a cloud. Seagull on a cloud. Doing lawn care. It's a one more. Last one. Last, this is actually the last one. No questions asked. Final one. That's a duck. No, 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 no. That was a duck. I got duck on the farm learning computers and tablets. Good. And that's it. That's fucking it. I gotta get these together. I gotta get out of here. Alright, it looks like as of the moment here, we got Snake on a Cloud Otherwise is currently the winner. Snake on a Cloud Otherwise. Jesus Christ, how the fuck am I going to write a book about this? It's going to be about like an indifferent snake that doesn't care. Got up on a cloud somehow. How's he going to get down? How did he get up there? Oh shit, what? It's brilliance! What did I just say? What did I say? Clip that. Somebody clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Right now. Clip that. Right now. Give it to me. Give it to me. It's gonna be about like an indifferent snake mm -hmm. that doesn't care. Doesn't care. Got up on a cloud somehow. How's he gonna get down? How did he get up there? Fucking brilliant. That's the opening line. Let's go with like, okay, so up here we got like a cloud, right? Because they're looking up. Maybe we can have a couple other clouds like over here in this section. Maybe a couple like over here in this section. This is the one the snake saw. Don't fucking forget it. So the kid is about to catch the ball. They're very happy, right? Like, that's a good... This person just looks like they're getting a ball kicked to their face. They don't look very happy. So we got the house. And there once was... The, the, I don't see a snake here, sir. Right? <laughs> that's not a factory! That is a house. No, this is a chimney. It's cold. Look, they're wearing jackets. All right, that's the ball, playing ball. There once was a snake that did not care, but we make sure we had that clouds are very prominent in this shot. They are like, wow, it's pretty pretty. If you, if you, if... God fuck. And then maybe for the for the people with the keen eyes, what color is a snake? This is very important. Green, blue, pink, red, blue. Like you could, like a little, like right there. Like a little face, a little snake face with the tongue coming out. Just like, oh, oh, I see him, right? Okay, so I've got the greatest idea. Let's say the snake got up on the cloud because he didn't care. Right, that's how he got there. But he got removed far from his friends. He's lonely, he wants to get back down. And through a process of learning how to care again, he gets back off the pedestal he created for himself. That's too deep for kids. I was gonna have him like fucking ride up on a rainbow. The cloud is from the. It's not a factory. It's not a factory. Okay. It's like that. Like, I just get, you gotta get it right, you know.
There once was a snake that didn't care. I got up on a cloud somehow. How'd he get there? His friends and family, he did say goodbye. Friends and family, he did say goodbye. Reaching higher. He wanted to try. It's about reaching too high. It's, a, it's, a, it's about trying too hard and not setting correct goals for yourself that you get in over your head and you get to a point where you can't come down. This is going to be an elaborate one here. Okay, so we got the train to his friends and family. He did say, this is like if this is a flashback. There's going to be, look, ready? Watch this. So in this panel, there's going to be, like, there'll be some, like, mist around the edges. So, like, children can understand that this is, like, this happened before. Right? So there's, like, mist here. Like, this is the train. And here's, like, the, like, the bottom part. Of the train. It's like the tr I gotta get like. T t look, it's hard to do this. There's like the tracks. <laughs> it's it's a fucking dream sequence. All right, lay off. And he's gonna be like out of, hanging out of a window with a fucking hat on, like it like it f happened like the thirties. Just blocking it out. <laughs> uh, this is just like the fucking Bitcoin chart. You know, like walking in the subway. There's like, there's like fucking 40 of these snakes. Like walking around with like briefcases and shit. And imagine that's like just kind of everywhere. This is like, this is like a living fucking city. Back here. There's a fuck, uh, 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 there's a factory. Uh, he's got like fucking laundry in here or something. He's got like a backpack or a suitcase or something over here. He's wearing like a backpack. Right? I mean, this looks like somebody's sitting. No, there's like, a, there's a person sitting on the train next to him. This is just a person. Just sitting, that, that, that you know, there's people here. There's, there's people. What, what was the next part? It's a, it's a, it's about, he wanted to try. What did he want to try? On to his friends and family, he did say goodbye. Reach for the sky, he wanted to try. This book fucking sucks. On a whim, he wanted to try. What a guy. We get some like fucking sweat marks. Maybe he's like, he puts his hand up like, you know, wipes it away. Like sweat, kind of like a hand. He wipes it away with his hand. <laughs> this could be just buildings back here, behind him. Like he's in like is it like a window seat? He's got like a big window behind him. You know, could be a factory back here. And there's like a whole other scene in here of like the like everyone's like waving and saying hello. You know, he's like remembering like oh I remember buddy. I'm like oh I'm like he like I mean like he moved away or something. Okay. He's like a piece of working too hard, you know what I'm saying? And then... Maybe he looks out over, over all the factories he owns? <laughs> no, that's like... Alright, uh... Okay, like, oh, like, what the hell? And notice the symbolism here with the way that these are, the way that they look, they could be factories, but it's like so muddled in his brain. This could be factories. There's money behind him. This is gold. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be anything. Something shiny. Okay, done. That's, that's it. He sends up the rainbow. No, he goes up like the gold. He goes up like the fucking gold. And he's on the cloud, right? He, like, goes up on the fucking gold, and he's on the cloud now. Like, yeah, he was, yeah, I made my millions on the fucking gold. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it sounded so easy at first. I've been live for four hours. And we've been doing this for like two. So if people spend a, a decade of their life writing a book, people spend years of time writing a book. If this is the bullshit that I can come up with in fucking 45 minutes to an hour, that's some pretty good, like, time versus investment. You know what I mean? That Like, really? Some people write a book for fucking four years. And I'll prove it to you. But it's not good, though. But that's... This is art. You can't say that. <laughs> uh... Furthest, a snake, the snake's ever known. Where, it's a soaring, a soaring, slithering, how high can you go? Shut up, guys. Writing books is fucking hard. This looks nice! Comfy! And... This looks nice. Comfy and... Oh! Comfy and... This looks nice. He's getting off on the cloud and he's like really up there. This looks nice. Comfy and... This looks nice, comfy and nice. <laughs> no, this looks nice, comfy and soft. No, it's gotta be this looks nice, comfy. This spot is cool, comfy and nice. This part, is, this, this, this spot is fu- Wow, this shit is fucking dank. Covered in lice, no. This looks nice, this will suffice. You fucking saved this project, whoever the fuck you are. And if you guys are wondering here... What's going on with this? It's shaped like a snake. Interesting, because this is his own... Greed. That got him here. There's no point to the book. There's no point to any children's book. It's about, like, how to clean your room. This one is about... Uh, a random number generator. And, uh, not being... Not going, don't, like, make sure you, like, don't lose your friends and family, and friendship, and, like, the James and the Giant Peach, the fucking giant tomato rolls through town, is the same exact story. There he is, looking down, again. Tear drops from his eye. No, why would he be sad? Not yet, no. The smog, no. The teardrops and then it starts raining. And the cloud, bingo. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Okay, so he's up there. It's He drops a tear. It starts raining. Okay? Because he's remembering his, like, friends and like, oh, I miss my friends and everything. So then the cloud has the rain in it. Cloud disappears. And he fall. He slowly falls. Because, he, uh, I don't know, something like that. Maybe people look up because they think it's raining. And then they, I don't know. This is close. This is just a draw my life. <laughs> it's not even a book. This is just my this is my draw my life, guys. All right, whatever. Who cares? The maybe like the okay the flashback bubbles. We, we, we saw them earlier in the story. Flashback bubbles of all, like, the people having fun. They're, like, at the beach, right? Hanging out, having a good time. Like, everyone's hanging out. Who cares? They, they like, doesn't matter. There's, like, people. And, like, they're like, oh, I'm having a great time. Remember when you were here? Yeah, me too. I remember. <laughs> I sure do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and he's falling, right? Oh, I'm falling. But these are slowly catching him. As he goes down. Fucking books are hard, okay? And then he... <laughs> there it is. Page 7 and 8. 
He slowly falls down, and then, like, he's able to, he's caught by all of his friends. There's, there's no words here. That doesn't need to be. That doesn't need to be words here. <laughs> this is a panel with no words. So this last panel is there. He's like, everyone's like, oh, it's raining. And he's, he's caught by everybody down here. You know, like there, there's a, another big scene with, okay, you can have some like grass or give it to me. You could have some grass. Remember the people playing outside and everyone's just like, like everyone catches him while he falls down. And everyone's like happy. Like, hey, like you're back. Okay, there you go. I, I did it. He's just slowly falling down on these like nice memories. These are all his friends. These are all his friends, and it, it turns out you you have friends and family, and you don't you don't need anything else. I mean, you can you you can you can you, if you want to you can. But what's the sinister thing going on here? <laughs> the moral of the story is. <laughs> Somebody said like the moral of the story is don't do any of that. Just hang out with your family and smoke crack in your basement. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Oh, all right, let's put it all up on the screen. But I need to. I need a, a better line. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How many people left? <laughs> Fucking like a thousand. <sighs> A Snake in the Clouds Written by Jeremy Elbertson There once was a snake that did not care Got up on a cloud. How did he get there? To his friends and family, he did say goodbye. On a whim, he wanted to try for the sky. Soaring and slithering, how high can he go? point where the streamer gave up. Turns out you had it all along, but you can do it if you want to, otherwise just fly to the sky. <laughs> That's it. Alright, now let's try it with different music. A Snake in the Clouds. Written by Jeremy Elbertson. Yeah, can you fucking feel it? Can you feel it? I know you can. There once was a snake that didn't care. Got up on a clown, how the fuck did he get there? 
to his friends and family he did say goodbye. On a whim he wanted to try for the sky. Soaring and slithering, how high can he go? This... Nothing here. Turns out you had it all along, you fucking idiot. But you can do that too, just fly. This guy sucks. How did we get here? I have no idea. Oh, somebody said something about a children's book, and I said they were very easy to read. <laughs> I said they were easy to make. <laughs> Wake up!